starting off the Halloween festivities by cosplaying as Sombra. Sombra is a hacker from Mexico. And if you're not familiar with her, she is from a game called Overwatch. She is a complete badass and I felt like I had to cosplay as her because she has a side shave, she's Mexican, and she has purple hair. Does that sound familiar to you? I am like the real life Sombra, except I don't hack. A lot of you guys have been requesting me to do a cosplay for her once you saw my side shave. And today I'm gonna show you guys a casual cosplay of Sombra. So this is gonna be Sombra in her everyday life, what she wears when she's not kicking ass in video games. And if she was actually living with us in the modern world. With that said, let's get started. So start off with a clean face. I am prepping my face with Yves Saint Laurent Primer. This is my favorite primer. You wanna make sure that you are nice and moisturized. This one gives you a beautiful glow. Next, I'm gonna prep my eyelids. I am using my favorite MAC Painterly Pot so that our eyeshadow can really last and be as pigmented as possible. I'm also placing a little bit underneath my eyelids because we're going to add some makeup there as well. So now I am using Kat Von D's Lock It Foundation. This is my favorite foundation. It just looks so smooth and it covers any blemishes that you have on your skin. So cover your whole face in this and then I'm also going to place some foundation on my eyebrows to mimic the shave that is on Sombra's eyebrow. So if you wanna go crazy here, you could actually shave your eyebrow, but I didn't want to do that. So I'm just putting some foundation over it. If you really wanna achieve the shaved look, I would suggest putting some non-toxic purple glue stick on your eyebrow to get those eyebrows nice and stiff and then put the foundation over that. But we're just gonna skip that step. So while the foundation dries, I'm going to add purple glitter eyeshadow onto my eyelids. And I am using Urban Decay's Moon Dust in Magnetic. So any purple eyeshadow will work here, but I have been loving the Moon Dust palette. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put that on my eyelids. So once you have the purple on your eyelids, it's time to add some pink. I didn't have pink eyeshadow with me, so I'm actually using a pink lip liner, uh, but it should work perfectly. I'm just blending it with my finger, putting it on my brow bone and my lower lid, and this gives some really nice pinky tones. Make sure to blend it outward so it transitions smoothly with your skin. And now it's time to add a little darkness. So grab an ultra black eyeliner and place it underneath your eyes. Then you're going to blend it out and add purple in between the blacks and the pinks to create a nice fluid gradient. Now go in with a felt tip eyeliner and place this on your top lid. So Sombra has a double wing. So start by creating the lower wing, going up towards the tip of your eyebrow and add the second wing right on top of that, going kind of towards the curve of your eyebrow. Next, I'm going to work on my eyebrows a little bit more. So I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Eyebrow and an angled brush. This is my go-to for eyebrows. And to achieve the shape of her eyebrow, I'm curving them upwards towards the center. This is gonna give you a more animated, cartoony look. So continue painting your eyebrow, but don't paint it in all the way Stop right at the curve of your eyebrow and you're going to skip maybe about a quarter of an inch and then continue the eyebrows down. So you may need to go in and touch up the foundation um, to really make it look like your eyebrow is shaved. And then I'm adding her beauty mark on the bottom of my lower left eye with the same dip brow and same brush. You can just kind of like paint that in. For her lips, I decided to go with a purple color. I'm using Lime Crime and placing this all over my top and bottom lip. Then I'm going in with a bronzer and adding some definition to my cheeks. And then we're gonna go back to the lips. I know I'm kind of jumping all over the place, um, but I wanted to add some dimension. So I'm adding Lime Crime's Diamond Crushers on top of the color on the top and bottom lip. So this adds such a beautiful shimmer and 
This stuff is amazing. I absolutely love it. So next I'm adding a little bit of shimmer to the tip of my nose and highlighting my cheeks just to really accentuate those features. I'm on fire. Now if you really want to go all the way and all out for this costume, shave your head or half of it at least. So I went to my barber and got a design done. His name is Nikki Marcel and I'll put some information in the description if you guys are interested. He has some amazing work, so check him out. But he did this Sombra design for me and I absolutely love it. And with a snap of my fingers, I straighten my hair and add a little wave. So for this casual look, I pictured Sombra wearing leather. She also has a really beautiful blue in her outfit, so I decided to wear a blue top to mimic that. So next I wanted to implement Sombra's logo, which is the Dia de los Muertos skull. I thought to kind of go with the punky theme of Sombra, I was going to create a mask for this. It would look really cool on the back of a jacket if you're thinking of doing this, but I am just using acrylic paints for this and drawing it out. It's a pretty simple shape to do, but if you make any mistakes, you can always go in with black or the opposite color that you're working on. All the information on where I purchased this mask will be in the description if you guys are interested in doing that. But once you have that completely painted and dried, so you're not breathing in the acrylic fumes, you are now complete with the Sombra casual look. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you like this video. And since you've watched this far, I know you have good taste. I'll see you later. Everything can be hacked. And everyone.